and welcome to this Back to Swimming session with me, Wayne, from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. Well, this is our third session, and we're still planning to keep on trying to get you balanced, and we're still trying to get you relaxed in your stroke, and that's the real thing about the drills this week. We're balancing you, and we're getting you relaxed. But then we're going to actually do some testing swimming. We're actually going to get your heart rate beating a little bit faster. So let's get on with the session. Now please remember this is a series, so if you want to know when we next upload one in the series, just subscribe and click that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload a video. As always there's a warm up and this week it's four 100s where we're trying to build to fast in each 100. So at the end of those four you should be ready for some nice drills. We're now putting on our fins for a set of kicking drills. And all these drills are meant to balance you up in the water to get you really nice and streamlined on the surface. So we want you to push your chest in the water, round about where your nipples are, so you're pushing that in and your hips are coming really nicely to the surface. The first set of three are kicking on your side with a pull boy under your arm. Now we want to hold the pull boy with your elbow, but because you haven't done this one before, we're going to go to the computer and show you what it's like. When you're doing this drill, we want the kickboard sideways instead of lengthways. And you can see that this swimmer is having to hold it there with his elbow. And that's what we want, being pushed against the body with your elbow. Just like that. You can try cheating. There's uh, someone coming back just cheating here. You can see he's actually holding the kickboard with his hand. Try not to do that because it means you can do what he's doing, which is actually raising up the kickboard away from the body. You want, want that kickboard to be held right against the body if you can. Now you can do this drill either with your arm by your side or arm leading. Now you've got obviously someone here doing it with their arm by their side and this person is doing it with the arm ahead. Now he's doing it really nicely with the arm ahead, looking down over that shoulder and his palm pointing to the bottom of the pool. So you want to keep that really nice relaxation, get your head, really want to look forward and down, not sideways. So you should already be nicely balanced to be going on to another set of three, which is kicking on your side, changing sides by length, but with your arm ahead. Now you want your ear right on your shoulder, looking down and just turning up to breathe. Keep the palm of your hand pointing to the bottom of the pool at all times and you should be really nicely balanced pushing that chest into the water. The last set of three are extended shark fin. Now we did this in week one but it can be a little difficult to get this really nailed down so we'll go to the computer again and show you exactly how it should be done. Now here we're seeing the extended shark fin fin drill done really well. You can see the arm rises the first time and it goes back, then it comes up and forward the second time. Up and back down, up and forward. Now watch this closely, relax, breathe on the first one, try not to breathe on the second. It keeps your head in really nice position. We're now going to go on to our drills and we're doing 12 times 50 with our fins on. And all of these are about relaxation, getting really nice and relaxed in the water. We're doing them in sets of four. The first four, single arm with pull boy. Remember, reach down the pole, get into the catch position and drive back. The second one, we haven't done before. It's called broken arrow. So we're going to go to the computer and give you a proper explanation of that drill. When you're doing the broken arrow drill, this really is the most important position where you've got your arm straight up and you're pointing back to the back of the pool with your palm of your hand. Um, and you get there by drawing your arm up straight from your body. So it's kept straight and you draw it up effectively with that muscle there, just the shoulder, the deltoid muscle. From there we're going to go into the broken arrow position. There we go. And then we're going to go forward into the driving position and the other arm will come up straight, break and then go forward up. Now look at that, that's perfectly straight, the hand's pointing to the back of the paw. That's an absolutely lovely position, straight, and you'll note the hand is pointing right to the back of the paw. Really important with this drill that that happens. And there we go. And here we have another exponent of the drill, and you'll see just how relaxed this is being done. There's no tension in the neck or the shoulders, it's just being raised using the muscles necessary, minimising the movement you have to do. 
The third set of four are finger drag. Now remember, we want a really nice soft arm coming forward, really relaxed, all the way to the front as it places in, in line with your shoulder. That's the drills done, so fins off, let's get ready for some work. And our main set this week are five lots of 1 100 on 2 minutes 10, trying to get maximum distance per stroke, and then 1 100 on 1 minute 50, trying to get some speed. Now we're not going to be really going flat out, but what I want is an effort above your triathlon race pace effort. So this is level 3 at the top end, slightly into level 4 if you like. So you're actually going to be tired at the end of that, but after each one you're coming back to that 100 meter swim on 210 when you're going for distance per stroke. Now this type of set is very good at getting you into that position where you go out of your breath and then while still racing you've got to come back in under control. So you're doing that 100 distance per stroke, then a 100 hard, then you're back into that 100 dis distance per stroke again. And that distance per stroke should get your heart rate back down to a reasonable level so you feel comfortable again in the water. After that, we've just got our swim down, and this week we've got 200 metres. Remember, we want to start the 200 metres reasonably well, and then slowly but surely bring that right the way down so our heart rate really goes down, and we're ready to get to the showers and go. If you have any questions or comments, just put them below. I'll always try and get round to answering every question that comes up as soon as I can. That's it for this week. Hopefully you've enjoyed that session and you'll have a lovely weekend and good training and good racing. Keep well. Thanks for watching.